What's up YouTube? So today I want to talk to you guys about the low power mode setting in iOS 9. Uh, some of you may not know this exists, others probably do, and I just kind of want to give a brief explanation of it and so everyone is aware and knows how to use it. To access this new mode, you, there's two ways. One, when you get below 20%, which unfortunately for this video I'm not, uh, I kind of wish I was, it'll pop up you know how you normally would get the your low power and you just hit OK. Now you get an option and it'll say close or low power mode. When you enable low power mode, your battery will change to a yellow. And that means that you have the low power mode enabled. Now, as long as you're upgraded to iOS 9, you can come into your settings application. If you need to find settings, you can swipe down and just type in settings. Once you open up settings, it's just in the main list here, right above Touch ID and right below the privacy. If you don't have Touch ID, this will just say passcode. Oops, wrong one. So when you go in here in this menu, you'll get a full breakdown of your um, battery usage. So you can see in the last uh, 24 hours versus the last five um, days, how much uh, each application is using as a total. And then if you scroll to the bottom, uh, normally you'd be able to see the last time charged, how long standby, and then usage on the device you have. At the very top here is your low power mode. We can enable it. You can see my battery changes right there. Now, to explain the low power mode, when you enable it, it temporarily reduces power consumption by turning off features on your phone. Those features can include the mail fetch. So um, that means retrieving emails so when this is enabled your device won't automatically check for those emails you'll have to open the application manually and like refresh it and check as well as background applications so say you have like a smartwatch like a, the pebble or something like that that will disable those applications from being able to refresh in the background including uh, the weather application and uh, the stock application, news application, you'll have to manually uh, refresh those by opening the application. And then also some visual effects get turned down. So that would be just the uh, animations in and out, just kind of basically tune it down so that iOS is running at like the least amount of juice possible. So this is a really great feature, although if you're unsure that it's even enabled or you enabled it by accident, it can be a little frustrating because you're not receiving emails and apps aren't running in the background. So that's why I wanted to do this tutorial just to explain how this works and how to shut it off or even to know if it's on or not. So if your battery has changed colors there, you can see that the low power mode is enabled. And so everything that we talked about with emails, apps running in the background, automatic downloads, which I actually didn't mention, but there won't like things like automatic downloads wouldn't happen either. So to turn this on and off is really just a simple toggle in your settings application. Again, it's just open settings and head to the battery here. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out, uh, helps explain the battery feature a little bit more in iOS 9. So make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more iOS 9 videos, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.